Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and um, one quick video before the gauntlet starts and pain champs begin. Uh, this is a character I have um, just been playing for the past couple of days and kind of wanted to do something with Nightblade and something a bit more hipster. Um, so I wanted to take on either Cobralash, Spectral Throw, or Reeve and Blade Flurry. Basically started out with Cobralash and uh, it's just felt good the entire way and just committed to it. So this is a Cobralash character and I wanted to do something with Nightblade uh, and also the dex stacking portion of, um, I don't know, attack skills. So instead of going sort of um, int and lightning stacking and instead of just going regular trinity based stuff or some shit like that, this is a dex stacking character. So it has a claw um, that you can get a synthesis implicit. Um, on plenty of items, this one has a synthesis, synthesis implicit of 2 to 4 cold damage per 10 dexterity, and then just go ahead and stack some dexterity. Uh, get, you know, at this point, I think 1700, uh, which is worth maybe twice of what an awakened cold is at this stage, and then try and stack a bit of extra cold in other places. And what you get is basically just a character with decent amount of evasion, decent amount of life, not too much yet, but still ramping. Um, and then trying to, with Cobra Lash, scale off of additional chains. So as a dead eye, you get one additional chain. Uh, Cobra Lash itself has five additional chains, and then the Helm Enchant gives you three additional chains. Uh, and then together, you think I, I think you have uh, about nine chains for your character. And then Cobra Lash has a built-in bit of damage onto it, especially with the alt quality. Uh, 15% extra damage to your skill uh, with each remaining chain, uh, as well as that, some more damage, as well as that, there are some cluster jewels, medium cluster jewels, that give you another 15% damage with each remaining chain. So these mechanics, um, basically for single target, mean that you can more or less not need too much damage on the tree, you just have to kind of try and fix your crit, crit multi, and your flat damage. And in the end, um, this is kind of the resulting character. It's an extremely smooth, fast playstyle. Uh, you can shoot out a lot of uh, projectiles pretty quickly, and they've got lots of chains. They shatter, they hit pretty hard, and uh, the character is fairly durable with like 80% evasion, um, spell suppress capped, and uh, a little bit of a recovery as well, though that doesn't really matter at this tier of map yet. I think I'm only level 85 or 6, some shit like that. Basically just been cruising up to tier 10 maps, and uh, it's been a fun little experience. I think with this type of a setup I can do uh, just about anything. Like, like I said, could have gone Spectral Throw, but it requires a bit different of a projectile-based build. And you can also try and do some... Um, anything else with Nightblade really, but I also wanted to try out some Reeve and Blade Flurry. Uh, however, I am very projectile based at the moment, so being more melee based would take uh, a bit of a turn in the build, and I think um, that would be pretty decent as well. Reeve should have some good clear at the moment, and then Blade Flurry should have very good single target, um, but I'd probably have to build sort of a pseudo four to six link hat for the Blade Flurry uh, if you want to use both at once. Otherwise, Blade Flurry just needs a bunch of area to be its own thing. Either way, uh, it's just kind of an example of Nightblade being pretty strong, as we all know, um, and then trying to avoid any sort of Omni sort of bullshit, because, yep, obviously it could have done some Omni stuff and gained 150 penetration, but instead doing the nice humble little cold stacking thing and getting, I don't know, 40 or 50 cold penetration instead. Uh, as you can see, you can also kind of use the new Tornado, um, but I'm not entirely sure it's going to be doing too much yet. I'll have to wait and see if we get it up to single target um, capabilities, and it's not going to be anything mind-blowing single target, maybe 5 to 6 million, something like that, which is uh, really thick for um, clear. Um, and then, yeah, just pick up an Echoing Shrine, you're throwing Frisbees everywhere. Uh, but yeah, it should just be a nice character for clear. We'll see if it does anything in single target. However, Gauntlet's starting in very soon and I have no idea how much of that I'm going to be doing but as always basically have to just start the painful process and see how it goes. Fuck. Anyway let me show you real quick how I've built this character so far. There's my current character level 86 gauntlet soon pain champ um, Deadeye. 
uh, like I said, based around this implicit. So this is a mod that you can get from a hunter or a shaper claw, but it's cheap enough for an implicit as well. Um, you can start with a dagger or a claw. And um, went with the claws because uh, you can abuse Nightblade a little bit harder. Then just Essence spammed it with um, cold essences until good suffixes and uh, finished off with a little penetration craft. Uh, the entire character and the entire sort of stat stacking thing can be very like self crafty, but it can be very, you know, RNG based and you can just pump a lot of essences in until you get the right stuff. Um, I think I crafted a few of these items, not all of them. So just temple gloves some stacks with some dexterity. These were not very expensive at all because um, a single stat is not very hot these days compared to anything that has double stats for Omni sort of bullshit. Um, synthesized percent dexterity belt and then used some um, dex essences until something happened and needed some strength. So, yep, got that. Finished it off with a prefix of, um, you know, unveiled thing. Um, and um, Garakhan's Flight, they are a large reason that you can kind of get some good life in your build as um, stat stacking, because uh, it's a lot of extra life, um, or your 10 dexterity, and when we're at 1746, that is worth, you know, a good 300 life. Um, just actually chaos spammed a shield, got implicit with a bit of a reservation efficiency, just so I could fit in my current reservation of... Um, Purity of Elements, Hatred, and Herald of Ice. Um, kind of needed to take care of my resists a bit since it was hard to do with my current gear. So Purity of Elements um, fit the niche nicely. Since I've already got a lot of evasion, Grace ain't going to do too much more. Bump me up to like 82% evasion or some shit, which is nice, but um, yeah. So tried to get some suppress there, uh, some dexterity, and then happened to hit attack speed and life at the same time. Uh, Fractal Thoughts is pretty good for dex stacking, as you can see, it gives you, in this case, some crit multi, some percent dexterity, uh, and some elemental damage per dex, uh, given that it should all work out according to the hat's parameters. Uh, and then the Helm and Sharp Corbelash is pretty important, because as I mentioned, uh, Corbelash is scaling with 5% um, more damage with hits for each remaining chain, and then the alt koalas projectiles deal 15% increased damage with hits for each remaining chain. And of course you can abuse that with Ashes of the Stars if you want and do it even more. Um, in this case I'm also doing it with follow through from the cluster. And I still need to do another cluster, so in the end we should have about 45% increased damage with hits for each remaining chain. Um, and then stacking all the chains gets you this far. Uh, grabbed a um, Frostbite Dexterity Ring, this thing was 2x I think, uh, and then just this thing for 50c, 35c I think it was actually, Dexterity, needed some strength in it, uh, and it's a Veiled mod, and uh, that's all there is to that one. And then made my own chest, uh, had to custom make this one because I wanted both additional curse and percent dexterity, and to get that you need a Hunter Elder combo, and those just don't exist because no one's trying to make one of these. Uh, so I had to woke orb smash those together. And then essentially, I think I ended up just chaos spamming until I got good suffixes. Um, and then you can just finish off the prefixes easily with suffixes cannot change and real caster guarantee the um, additional curse. And uh, here we are. So a bunch of evasion there. Additional curse. And I wanted the additional curse so I could frostbite and then also sniper's mark on hit with um, everything. So that's where that is there. Mark on hit, sniper's mark, and life tap. Uh, otherwise what we've got is dash, phantasmal protector just for more attack speed, uh, leveling reeve, leveling spectral throw, using a tornado occasionally with the new tornado shark MTX if you haven't seen it. It's pretty cool. Pile of sharks flying around and of course you can um, you know make them cold based and fire based etc. Uh, oh, shit, also the amulet. Uh, pick this one up just uh, for like one or two X as an implicit. The percent dex implicit doesn't cost that much. Um, like, you know, up to an exalt. And then I got the cold damage on there as well, just for fun. Uh, and then I think I chaos spammed it as well until you hit something. Actually, no, this was scorn essences in the end. So like two scorn essences and managed to hit the dexterity and stats. And then to finish off the prefixes, however the fuck you want. So I locked in suffixes. 
did a veil, got life, and uh, finished off like that. Uh, the links currently are GMP, Coverlash, Nightblade, Added Cold, which I'll probably get replaced with um, Awaken Added Cold or Awaken Cold Pen, not quite sure yet, uh, Crit Strikes, and Inspiration. And I should be able to drop Crit Strikes eventually for something else, you know, maybe Hypothermia, um, Early Damage with Attacks, Awakened, something like that. Uh, and Dying Sun is just here as a bit of a temporary, we don't really need the additional proj, but certainly doesn't hurt, and uh, does make Coverlash look a lot cooler. Otherwise, um, nothing too special with the flasks, and my ascendancy over here is uh, doing a few things. We get the additional proj, do get barrage, uh, sorry, far shot, um, but you can go point blank instead, which is a lot of our gameplay, just being actually point blank, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, tailwinds, and of course, focal points. If I was going to expect with throw, I may have wanted to do um, two additional proj instead of the chain, and then just never actually need GMP, for example. Um, and if I wanted to go Blade Flurry Reeve, I would have picked a Raider instead. So the passive tree is just basically getting a whole bunch of crit and um, dexterity uh, and some you know proj stuff. We've got 1% increased proj damage per dex over here as well. So this mastery is worth 100% damage, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've got enough masteries that I can then take 5 dexterity per allocated mastery. It gives me a bit more than the 5% increase. Um, and, uh, you know, a bit of suppress and got a timeless brutal restraint here that I was just divining. It took me about 50 divines to get this one. And in the end, it just gives 20 dex, 5% dex, 5 attack and cast speed, 5% dex on quick step, 5% dex on the, um, frenzy, which I didn't want to take, but worth taking at that point. And there are a few other things I can do on this one. So if I actually just took all these little attack speed nodes, um, which isn't too bad, get another 5% dex, uh, but I doubt I'm doing that. And um, this is 5% dex too, but once again, not really taking the blind shit, but I don't know, who knows. Um, otherwise, charisma, just to get a bit more aura reservation in and increased effect there, using a watcher's eye with additional chaos res for my period of, ele of elements, and then cold pen with hatred. Um, you typically in these claw elusive, Nightblade builds, you pick up the dagger wheel here, the 40 effect, and then the mastery that says 40 extra crit multi with Nightblade, um, and then the claw wheel, and the mastery at the moment is the Nightblade. Would have liked to get the leech as well, but I can't justify any of the other claw nodes at the moment. And then um, just frigid fossil spamming to try and get blanketed to the snow and cold to the core. Uh, it's otherwise about 1 or 2x to buy one of these just straight up because uh, they are somewhat rare mods and um, fairly useful. The character needs a lot of passives, and if I just had free reign, I'd be at like 100, level 105, but I really have to like make a lot of choices, because yeah, there's a lot of crit I could get, a lot of claw nodes, a lot of clusters, and a lot of life nodes. And at the moment, choosing to sacrifice some life nodes. Uh, and lastly, if you want to know what the MTX are, we've got Misery, Harvest Core, Ravager Weapon, uh, Annihilator um, effect at the moment, and um, Misery back attachment. So mostly the Misery set, and then also using the 34 challenge fire character effect. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy the um, character, enjoy the video. Try to enjoy the gauntlet. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry, I'm trying to speedrun talking. And uh, see you next time.